So when I set out to change this channel just a few weeks ago, I don't think I quite understood what were the real reasons as to why I felt the need for a reset. And I found those answers on a golf course deep in the heart of England, in the town of Castle Coombe, one of the prettiest villages in the Cotswolds. Now in last week's episode, I said this. A good idea is if there are any golf courses out there that are watching this, that have got a golf course they want to show off within the winter months, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. And thankfully we had a response from the Manor House Hotel and Golf Club. I will be playing and scoring my 18 holes at the Manor House Golf Club, staying the night at the Manor House Hotel and taking a little wander around this idyllic English village. Now I know what you're thinking, Andy, you said you would be sleeping in the van, and you're right, I did, but I'm weak, fickle, and easily persuaded. And let's be honest, anyone who says they want this over this is probably lying to themselves. Well, I can't remember having such a good night's sleep. This hotel, the manor house is uh, luxurious to say the least, a bit different than stopping in the van. Um, right, so I'm off for my first tea time this morning over at the manor house golf club. It's a short two minute drive and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Sun's shining, looks so it's gonna be a nice day. I'm not looking to break anything. I won't even break a sweat if I can help it. The idea is just keep the swing thoughts to a minimal just concentrate on enjoying the game and hopefully that produces some decent golf. I've only just been and got the uh, key for the buggy and a really nice warm welcome from everybody in the pro shop which I always think sort of sets the tone so that's put me in a good mood at least. And the round starts with a straightforward par 4 which following a nice tee shot I played a wedge into the green. The first putt of the day from distance is about getting the pace early, but for a minute it looked like it was going to be a champagne start. Hole 2 is the first of many signature holes to come at Manor House, an elevated tee shot into a green surrounded by water. The background soundtrack of flowing water is an ever-present reminder of this peaceful surround. An OK tee shot left another long putt for birdie, which resulted in a tame effort and left a knee knocker for par. Hole 3 was a par 5 stroke index 1, and for good reason, 
it requires you hit a straight shot, which is always a challenge and anything leaked either left or right off the tee and leading down to the green would result in a problem. Right, so a quick update. Uh, first of all, in terms of the scoring, part of the first and second played them uh, reasonably well. In the third hole, stroke index one, super tight off the tee. Got a great tee shot away, six iron, middle of the fairway, an okay wedge again, and then managed to three put for a bogey. And I've just bogeyed the fourth as well, so two over through four. But the big shock is just how dry the course has been underfoot and how good the greens are. Um, what are we on? Mid to end of November and uh, a big surprise. I was probably scoring better than I was playing with the odd decent shot, keeping the card intact. My only swing thought was my transition, which looked okay on this one at least. Okay, it's just terrible. It's on the green, just like the far. So quite a bad, I mean, it's pin high, but a long way from the flag and just a, I just didn't feel comfortable over the shot. And I haven't done really over many all morning. If I can two put this, it's still, it'll be a decent nine. That's not staying high enough. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm just not quite on it this morning. Just a little bit frustrated. See the rise in the green starts to happen and I've just not accounted for that at all. So, greens are running as you can see really well, even though my reading of them's not great. Straight down the throat of it. Yeah, okay. Right, so at least we can smile at our par, but it's been a bit like that, been a bit scrappy, even though I went on two or three over. The eighth hole, unfortunately, is out of place, so we've uh, played through eight holes. Um, well, I'll clarify, on screen for you now, plus two or plus three. Uh, onto the back nine, let's see how we do. We'll get uh, two pasties then, please. Two pasties? Yeah, and um, I'll get a coffee. After a delightful pasty at the halfway house, the tenth meanders through the mounds with a subtle right to left dog leg. My swing started to feel a little more in the groove and a couple of good shots set up a birdie chance that couldn't be missed. Come on, don't miss this one. Positive. Yeah. Oh, that was, I think that's the second birdie of the day, but I enjoyed that one. Wandering the fairways of the manor house helped me realise the part that golf plays in my own well-being. And reading so many comments in our recent content, seems a lot of you are also finding the game is beneficial for your mental health. If only for a short period, golf provides an escapism from the chaos. I really do hope this new series of videos provides a further moment of serenity. Next time you're on a golf course, don't look at the floor, don't look at that scorecard, and don't just look straight ahead. Take some time to look around and your golf will soon stop being about birdies and bogeys. And you never know, you might even enjoy it a bit more. A mini driver, mini driver on 15, wow. It's playing long. Can we play this shot? Come on, carry it, carry it and, oh, 
that's the best of the day. But it took two to get there on 15, that's playing long. What I couldn't see was we popped up a little short and a delicate up and down was still required. An odd looking but effective wedge shot set up another birdie chance on 16, but unfortunately I failed to convert. Oh, well 17, we've had some stunning par threes, but this elevated position on 17, down into the valley and it looks like there's water virtually all the way around it. I'm not too sure what a yard it is, but what a gorgeous golf hole. Just a little bit of sunshine left on the back quarter of the green and uh, a few of those orange and brown leaves left on the backdrop. So we're playing 140 downhill. I'm going to go with just a nice easy wedge. It's always very difficult to judge yardage from such an elevated position. So, yeah, not sure about this one. Well, it was an easy shot. I don't know whether if I'd gone too easy on it. Uh, maybe a tad when you got to the front half and there uh, probably was a full wedge to get back there and I've got a bit to go in terms of making a par. Wow, how nice is that? And of course we cannot have an episode without your involvement, choosing your favourite photo of the day. Go. Go. Yes. Always nice to finish with a good minute. So that's it, another episode draws to a close and uh, I really enjoyed that. As I've said already, I can't believe just how good the condition of the Manor House Golf Club was this time of year. And a massive thanks for them having us in this hotel, which as you can see, is pretty special. So I think all that's left to do is I need a quick shower and change. We've got to walk about 500 yards to go to the Castle Inn pub. And I think I need to treat the camera woman to something to eat. To those of you who might feel let down by my sleeping in five-star accommodation rather than my commitment to a winter of van life, you'll have to excuse my behavior. And forgive me, as I must dash, I have to mull over the pillow menu. See you next week.